Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Epic here and Gearbox has just launched two new limited timed events in Borderlands 3 and of course they are free. The first of which is making it so that now loot goblins and chest loot scripts and they're, they're all going to be way more common. But in this video we're going to be focusing on the other one which is the return of rare chest riches. If you don't know what rare chest riches is, it's basically a limited timed event where you have an increased chance to get higher quality loot from chests, which obviously is really awesome. So I thought in this video I would compile a list or just a compilation of my favorite chest farms for when this is around within the new DLC. If you guys want to see my favorite farms for base game, then do let me know or even for DLC 1, but this is going to be covering DLC 2, Guns, Love and Tentacles. So without wasting any time, we are here in the Kanker Woods and you probably already know why we're here. So my first favorite chest farm is the Wendigo skip chests and if you don't know how to get the Wendigo skip to work I do have a video on my channel. I'm not gonna break it down right now because it would take too long But yeah, you see I just did it there. It took like what 10 seconds But once you do the Wendigo skip you can literally go down here and you'll get one of these bad boys and one of these bad boys And as you can see we already got wow two legendaries in one chest so out of any of the farms that I'm going to be showing in this video the wendigo skip is definitely my favorite one just because it takes such little time to do and you get two really nice chests from doing it so yeah this is definitely whoa look at that three in one yeah so this is definitely my favorite one of all of them and it is super easy to do again if you want to know in detail how to do that wendigo skip i will leave a link in the description down below to my tutorial and now for my second favorite farm, this is more for loot scripts, but basically we're in Cursehaven at the Withernot Cemetery and all you simply have to do is run up these stairs as soon as you spawn in, up these stairs, take a right and you can open one of these really cool portal chests. Now of course I did not get a loot script from this, but it is very easy to do. They will just pop out, you kill them, and they will explode loot. And with the increased chance right now, this is going to be a really quick way of doing it. If you're on PC, you can do this like with 15 seconds in between each run. It's really stupidly quick. For the next location, this one actually popped up in my Twitter feed, so big thank you to Cameron Freeman for posting this and sharing it on the Twitter. For this one, we're going to be heading to the Dustbound Archives, and you're going to want to make your way all the way over to where I am right here, just before the boss fight where these two vending machines are. Here is the new use station which you will trigger in order to farm this location and once you spawn in the first chest is through this gate and to the right right here next to like obviously the, the gate. Another chest can be found to the left of the new use station. This one is usually up against this glass window here. It doesn't always spawn so if it doesn't you can also check the other side right here but sometimes it won't spawn. Once you've checked them locations, come inside and take an instant left and up here you will find another chest in the corner. After that you can run through into the main kind of central area right here, take a left and go up onto these monitors and climb up onto here to see a red chest. So you can open that red chest for some easy legendaries as you can see, kabam, and then turn around and you've got a portal chest right here with the chance of getting a loot script to pop out. So uh, yeah, I did not find this. This is just something that happened to pop up in my feed while I was browsing Twitter and yes, yeah, so I'm not taking credit for it, but a big thank you to Cameron Freeman for posting that. So for the next farm, we're going to make our way completely through the whole of Negul Nishai and I'm going to show you on the map where we are right here. We are right at the end. You're going to have to come all the way to the end here and we're going to be fighting the final boss of the Negul Nishai area, which we did see in the main story. And you're probably thinking, Epic, what does fighting a boss have to do with getting better loot from a chest? And well, I'm going to show you. So the Empowered Grawn is the dude that I am talking about and he is really, really easy to take down. 
So yeah, this dude does not take long to take down at all. And as you can see there, I didn't get anything from him. But that's not why we are actually killing him. But if you do want to kill him, he does drop some pretty cool stuff as well. But anyway, the, the point is here, once you kill him, just run towards the back of the room. Go up these stairs and through this hallway right here. And then turn right and... Boom, you've got a red chest here and also one of these smaller chests. And as you can see, yes, I did indeed just get a boatload of legendaries. So again, look, you can see here, I got a bunch of world drops like the Anarchy right here. I also got some cool stuff like, again, the Lunacy Relic. And once again, this took no time at all. I can just go out the back and once more, look, I have this chest here and this chest here, which have an insanely high chance to drop me legendaries. Now, I know that I said that the Kanker Woods Wendigo Skip Chest Farm is probably my favorite, but I, I, I think this one takes the cake. This one is pretty dope. So I was also going to show off the 7 chest run in Naguna Shai, but unfortunately that one is a little bit bugged on PC. It's kind of hard to get working flawlessly, so that's probably going to be its own video. But yeah, this is probably your best bet at getting chests during this new event. Now, I'm not saying I'm some kind of expert. Listen, if you know of any better farms for this new event within the DLC, then feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. I will say there were a lot more that I did want to show off in this video, but quite frankly, I just don't think they're all that great. I think the ones that I showed off so far are probably the best ones. So again, look, I've just taken this guy out and I can already tell you we're going to get a bunch of legendaries again. Look at this red chest here. Just wow. It's th this is insane. This is probably the best method of getting them. So yeah, again, if you have any other cool spots, feel free to let me know about them in the comment section down below. These are just my personal favorites and I wanted to share them with you guys in this video. Other than that, I think this is a really cool event. I'm super glad they brought it back and I do hope you guys have fun with it. So with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for your support as always. And you know the drill by now. Have a nice day.